Hi, this is Ron Nutter with another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter product reviews. Today we're looking at the third reality Zigbee smart plug with real time power monitoring. And by the way, this one supports Matter, so you've got more than one way to work with it. And three things you need to know. Thing number one this has real time power monitoring. So if your power bills a little more than what you think it should be, this is an interesting way of tracking down the culprit. Now you're going to have to go device by device. It at least gives you an option because a whole home electrical monitoring system is only going to tell you what's on that circuit. So you got multiple devices on that circuit, you're still running things down. So this is handy to have. It is supported by Home Assistant, Smart Things, Hubitat, and then the third reality folks have got their own hub. The, the Gen 2 is the one you'll need to, to look at. Thing number two, there is a customized on off state after powered on again. Now, let me explain that one. And for those of you who've had to go through a power outage where the power comes on in the middle of the night and everything turns on. Well, this is potentially a way that should address that keyword is should. If, you, if your power goes off and off, it may get the device confused and you may have to even end up reconfiguring uh, the device. I have had that happen. The third reality hub and Home Assistant support this option. So if you're on the fence about changing your smart home setup, then this is something to think about. Thing number three, it has both remote control and voice control, so it supports linking in to both Alexa and Google. Thing number four, to use this, you're probably going to end up having to go with a Zigbee hub. It all depends on how things are setting up, and this is one that's still unfolding for me, but the Zigbee hubs are not uh, that expensive. I found one that I'm going to be using that plugs into an available USB port. And it was very reasonable considering what I was expecting that it would cost. It is matter configurable and requires a dedicated app. In the description for this video, you will find links, for at least from an Android basis, to what's gonna to take to do a configuration over Zigbee and the app that you're gonna to need to do it with matter. So just, Ease your way into it. And one thing I would suggest, if you're going to use this like I'm probably going to end up going to, and even if not, get a label maker and label each one with its name. That way it's going to save you a lot of not having to hunt and find to figure out what the device is where. You'll know what it is, like probe one, probe two, if you're using it for electrical monitoring. You, you get the idea. You will need to have a login account, but that, you know, it's kind of a necessary evil anymore. So take a look at this one. This is one of the first Matter devices that I have dealt with. And when it's configured over Matter, it does talk to the smart plug with Bluetooth. So take a look at this one. Think about getting one. Give it a try. See how you feel about it. And just a matter of getting used to a different way of handling it.